versus V here with ideas from a kid's perspective. Recently, I taste tested seven brands of salt and vinegar potato chips. I'm the absolute biggest fan of salt and vinegar potato chips, or as I call them, SVCs. If I could only eat five foods for the rest of my life, they would easily get into the mix. I have done a blind taste test, which means I do not know which brand I ate and rated the brands 1 to 10 on each of these categories. Saltiness, vinegar level, and crunch versus crisp. I will also give my opinion on how they tasted it overall. The seven brands are Cape Cod, Cape Cod Reduced Fat, Kettle, Deep River, Trader Joe's, Lay's, and Pringles. Here's my rating from worst to first. In seventh place is Lay's. They weren't that great and they tasted really artificial. They were a 6 of 10 in salt, a 7 out of 10 in vinegar, and they were soft and not crunchy. In sixth place came Pringles. They were slightly sweet. They were 5 of 10 in salt and they were also a 5 of 10 in vinegar. They were pretty crispy. In fifth place, Deep River. They had good balance between salt and vinegar. They had a good crunch, a five in salt, a six in vinegar. In fourth place was kettle. They were saltier than most, and kettle also had a six to ten in salt and a seven to ten in salt. I mean vinegar. They had a good balance of both crust, crisp, and crunch. In third place, the super vinegary Trader Joe's. They looked more like they looked more cooked than the other brands. They also had the most Wish Chips in the bag. I'll get into Wish Chips in a minute. Oh, they were a 2 of 10 in salt and a 9.5 of 10 in vinegar. They were pretty crunchy as well. In second place came Cape, Cape Cod Reduced Fat. They had a good balance between vinegar and salt, and they were very, very close runner-up. They had a 4 of 10 in salt, a 7 of 10 in vinegar, and they were pretty crunchy. And number one, in first place, came Cape Cod. Just the right amount of vinegar, great level of crunchiness. Basically a chip that's super addictive and you cannot stop eating it when you start eating it. A 5 of 10 in salt and an 8 of 10 in vinegar. More crunchy than crispy, even though I had a little bit of crisp at the end to top the whole thing off. So I mentioned that Trader Joe's brand had the most wish chips in the bag. And if you're wondering about what a wish chip is, it is a chip that looks like it is folded over and the edges touch. The challenge is that you have to fit the whole chip into your mouth without breaking it and then chew it exactly 10 times before you swallow it. When you're chewing, you make a wish. I usually wish for more chips. Well, that is it. Signing off from Bruce's View. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>